A large coalition of social organizations from across Colombia organized the Dignity March, a congregation of multiple rallies in defense of life and land. The Comunera route and the Libertadora route arrived in Bogota on July 19th after walking hundreds of kilometers by foot from Barranca Bermeja and Saravena, respectively. The Dignity March seeks to raise awareness and manifest indignation to the current crisis that is worsening every day in Colombia. The Dignity March has united around the defense of life, of all people that live in Colombia, women, children, social leaders, of land as capitalism extracts its riches from the territories and lays waste to them, of rights which have been taken away with the coming of neoliberalism, health, education, transportation, housing, even the water and air have been privatized, of sovereignty that even in the midst of the pandemic, President Ivan Duque authorized the arrival of a brigade of technical assistance of the U.S. Army to Colombian land in a threat to Colombians and Venezuelans. La gente fue dejando los, los nervios, el miedo que se le ha metido por todos los medios y salieron a la plaza pública a manifestar su indignación, a manifestar su apoyo a esta caravana por la vida, a esta caravana de la indignación nacional. Como también podemos interactuar con las bases sociales que viven en ese territorio donde manifestaban todo su apoyo, colocando las pancartas a la orilla y orilla de la carretera, diciendo que estaban con nosotros y nos apoyaban en ese viaje a Bogotá. Throughout their journeys, the Comunera and Libertadora routes have faced constant repression from the public force. The police tried to impede the advance of the march at every step, using the pretense of the pandemic to argue that the people do not have a right to stand up against injustice. The participants, however, have been meticulously respecting all public health orientations. Their temperatures are taken regularly, and all of them wear proper masks and PPE kits wherever necessary. Por las injusticias de este país a todas las organizaciones que queramos hacer justicia contra nuestros gobernantes. The march comes just two weeks away from the two years of the government of Ivan Duque and amid the worst pandemic in recent history. Duque, who has proven ties to drug traffickers, has deepened all of the neoliberal policies of the prior governments. He has also intensified the war in the country, trampling on the Havana peace agreements and shutting down dialogue with the National Liberation Army, ELN, in addition to ignoring agreements signed with the social movements themselves. He has been at the head of a campaign of persecution, criminalization, and violence against all those that dare to speak out against the government. Movements announced that even the pandemic could not stop the systematic assassination of social leaders. On Colombian Independence Day, July 20th, which is usually celebrated with militarized processions and nationalist displays, it was the movements and communities that filled the streets to raise their demands and demand that the national government take immediate actions. The Dignity March has been an impressive act of giving hope to the people, of reminding communities and movements of the need to keep organizing to face the grave situation. Yeah.